Okay, so when we're talking about icons, uh, it does require more more difficulty than just text when we're loading in some layers or trying to add our own custom icons. If we're just coming from Mapbox, let's change it so that these, instead of being texts, are going to be icons. And there's the icons back. Okay, so sometimes I really find I have to upload a SVG just to make these appear. I uploaded this giant ugly thing because they just don't seem to kick into gear all the time. Anyway, let's change that. Since it's Paris, let's make it a thing of wine. And we are going to choose the wine instead over here as our icon. Okay, so now they all have wine. We're going to get rid of the text. I'll make the opacity zero on the text there. So obviously this is not all the places you get wine in Paris. There's many more places than that. But um, yeah, this is kind of nice. So we get this icon on here. It's loading. The size is fine. Let's make it a little bigger, actually. Boom. Okay, larger size. Not looking so clean could probably use a better SVG with a little smoother graphics going on there. But okay, there we are. So now if we were to publish this, and here we go, making it live. Now it takes a little while between publishing to immediately get the results on your map, typically. You're going to load it and it's going to look kind of the same. You can see we're going to get our um, text looking pretty much identical to it before. Oh, well, maybe not. Let's see here. So let's uh, let's get rid of all this stuff we had done and uh, be able to see this clearly. So did it change for us already? No, we did not get the change yet. So sometimes you gotta wait. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my style to update, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what we're gonna be dealing with in terms of the difficulty here. So part of the difficulty is that uh, when we're loading directly from Mapbox, it's not too hard to do the sprite icons. So these little icon things, you have to refer to them. They, they live somewhere, these images, right? And their file lives somewhere. So you have to refer to them in Mapbox. Um, when we use one that is built into Mapbox, it's one of these images, these Mackie icons that are kind of built in here. It's not too hard. We can refer to them using just a simple string like we do in one of these. We can say like icon, um, icon image, name of the image in the sprite to use for drawing an image background, right? So you do need to give it that string so that string has to refer to um, a file somewhere. So in the case where we're using defaults, Map, Mapbox's default ones, that just refers to what is stored in the style. These icons are stored in the style. But if you want to use your own custom icons, uh, it, it can be a little tricky. There can be numerous ways to do it. So if you just want to add markers, you can add markers through a separate process that we're going to talk about uh, a little later. But Basically, you'll add them as a HTML div and be able to add an image tag in there or make it a canvas and add an SVG directly. So that's one way to do it that we're going to talk about. But this other way to do it is to do it using um, pre-built icons. It's, it's a little bit more complex and it's a little bit more for advanced people. But mainly I want to talk about it just not to, I don't even want to show you how to do it because it's too complicated to go over right here. But I want to just tell you that um, if you're trying to make your own custom icons, it's a little bit more complex than you might realize. And what I'd advise you to do is try to use Mapbox's built-in system for uploading those icons, rather than having like a style sheet with icons on your, um, on your server that you're trying to refer to. But let's just make it so that we can actually add icons, and that we can see the icons first of all, and that we'll also be able to add them, um, our own icons. So they're back here. Great. So we're there here. Cool. Now, what if I decided, actually, I don't like these wine icons. I don't want to change it in the front end. I want to see what it's like by just uh, setting our own icon image. So we can go to icon images here. And as we mouse over them, we see a string pop up. Castle 11, circle stroked 11. Let's go with circle stroked 11. Okay, so we can set paint property place label other, we'll make it icon image, and then we will be setting that to circle stroked 11, was that it? Circle dash stroked dash 11. Not everything is set as a paint property. Some things are set as something called a layout property. So we're going to change that to set layout property. And we're just going to see that it works, and then we'll go see why. So we have it load, and there's that, and you see it changed to our circle stroked 11. Now the size is still off. Obviously it's not the best thing in the world, but it's working. 
So what happened? Why do we have to set layout property on certain things and set paint property on others? It just seems unnecessary, right? So we see um, it appears in the pro layers layout object. So they're actually stored in different places, and that's the thing, layout and paint properties. So you can see here that underneath each of these properties in Mapbox documentation, it says whether it's a layout or a paint property. So when we were looking for icon image, which again probably takes a little bit to find, but you can see all of these are specified as layout, layout, layout. And it's not too hard to um, separate out. You know, if you're changing a color or changing a width or changing something like that, um, the transparency, you're going to see paint property. So you know, icon opacity is a paint property, but an icon color is, but uh, visibility itself is a layout property. So you need to keep these separate in your head, and we're going to be going through them again as we go through a few different types of layers uh, and go over them all in the next episode or two. But I hope that these couple videos, by looking at the icons and the text, have made both the styles more clear, the sources more clear, this whole layer thing, as well as referring to the ID and the particular properties that you need to add. So there's a lot of complex properties, and uh, I hope you have fun exploring them and really customizing your maps using set layout property and set paint property.